Hi, and welcome to Style Thoughts by Rita. Today I'm talking about the dramatic classic or the tailored chic. As usual, I am talking about the description of the dramatic classic from the Metamorphosis. I am illustrating it with pictures of Kibbe Verified celebrities, and I'm talking a bit about the dramatic classic essence and styling based on my own understanding of the Kibbe system. And I invite you to go visit the Strictly Kibbe Facebook group for more information and examples of actual real life dramatic classic women being their amazing tailored chic selves. Okay, so the dramatic classic lady, she is classic first and foremost, which means that she is balanced between yin and yang. Neither her curves nor her frame are dominant, but she's leaning slightly to the yang. She is presented as having a slightly angular physicality with a coolly sophisticated essence. Um, in terms of her bone structure, she is moderate height. She is up to five feet, seven inches tall, but again, there's no really like lower limit. There's uh, some quite shorter dramatic classic verified celebrities and light ladies. She has straight and slightly wide bone structure. Her shoulders are tapered or they are slightly square. They're usually narrow. And overall, the dramatic classic has a very symmetrical bone structure with slightly angular edges in case that leads you somewhere. So in terms of her body shape, she has legs and arms which are a bit long or average, but she doesn't have this like elongation of the flamboyant natural the dramatic, but she has a bit of that yang elongation. She has a fairly trim and compact body, perhaps slightly muscular, and Kibi describes her in the book as her body type seeming to radically change once she gains weight because then the dramatic classic lady becomes more pear-shaped. Maybe that's true for you, maybe it isn't. <laughs> In terms of her facial features, she is described as having slightly sharp, angular, or squarish facial contours. So jawline, nose, and cheekbones can have some of these like extra yang touches. But she also has this balance in the yin and yang in her face also, because she has moderate to large eyes, moderate lips. So it really is this mix of yin and yang features that makes it hard to say like whether these women's face goes either way, although of course there's just huge variety in every image ID. So the dramatic classic is described as having a tailored chic essence. And this does not mean that she is like stuffy and must wear a suit all the time, but it doesn't mean that she's kind of like a free spirit either. She's really balancing these two things and as with the soft classic, the dramatic classic is so much about the balance, representing both the yin and the yang physically, and really not going into any one of these directions too strongly. So I think, and I think that's interesting because there's not that many like Hollywood celebrities that are, that are dramatic classic. It's more like political figures or public figures of different kinds that are dramatic classic. I think that speaks to the fact that in general, like it's not the perhaps Hollywood celebrity personality that the dramatic classic archetype represents. However, I do think that there is a really big like interest and desire for this like Taylor Cheek archetype in our culture. If you look around, not talking about DC ladies, but about aesthetic, if you look around like the last five years, there's been a lot of interest in kind of like, I don't know, this like very sleek hair with the like little hoop earrings, maybe like a blazer, beige on peach, champagne, kind of like color tone, sleek leather, purse, you know, like, you know what I'm talking about, this kind of like fancy rich bitch aesthetic, which of course, like any type can make their own, but I think like the advantage of the dramatic classic is that she can really like own that, and whilst it can be annoying to have people tell you that you should wear a blazer all the time, I guess one of the cool things about being a dramatic classic is you can probably get away with wearing a blazer more often than other people. <laughs> but okay, enough about my uh, views on the dramatic classic archetype and let's look at some KB verified dramatic classic celebrities. I want to first start by just showing you my gallery of beautiful dramatic classic faces. 
we can see here a great reminder humans are different all women look different just because they're the same image ID doesn't mean they have the same face and yet we can see this similarity this kind of like amazing jaw lines and cheekbones and this nose and at the same time it's not this kind of like fn model cheekbone type face but there's just clear like presence of these like yin elements in these ladies faces as well so i mean dramatic classics they are just insanely beautiful to me um just have a very captivating beauty and now let's look at some dc celebrity figures so when i say like the dramatic classic is a balance between yin and yang with some yang this is kind of what i'm talking about you can see all of these ladies have like what are traditionally referred to as you know waist and hips and they clearly have curves but they also clearly have you know shoulders that are like not prominent but they're really there so you can really see that both the yin and yang elements are represented but none of them is really like dominant and just to show you some more pictures of dc ladies because i think that sometimes people think if anybody has any shoulder definition or any upper arm definition that person is definitely like a flamboyant natural but these are clearly not flamboyant natural celebrities again you can see how these women have clearly like curves but at the same time the curve is not really like prominent in their body but the slight elongation maybe some slight sharpness in their bone structure is what's more prominent so that's why they fall on the dramatic classic rather than the soft classic side of the spectrum i'm just showing you some more figures just to keep in mind you know all women are different and dramatic classics can be of different heights and etc etc okay now i want to talk about the dramatic classic styling and here i'm going to talk a bit about non-dk verified celebrities just because there's not that many verified dramatic classics so as i already said i think dramatic classic can sometimes be associated or is often associated with kind of like fancy rich bitch like aesthetics and when I say rich bitch, I mean that affectionately. I think it's a really amazing aesthetic. And just like with every other type, while this aesthetic is like beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, uh, it may even come very natural to use a dramatic classic, it's also like can be a restrictive box because you maybe don't want to wear like a sheath dress or a trench coat everywhere you go just because you're a dramatic classic. So I think it's good to acknowledge that you know there's a lot of recommendations out there that can be true for you but it can be a bit restricting and i think like when we think about you know the like iconic like jackie that can be like feel a bit stifling because after all you know uh, the vast 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 majority of all human beings are not like the first lady or like you know super super rich and wearing a suit everywhere so i think in a way like she is like an emblematic style icon for the image id can make it feel a bit unapproachable but i think like jackie also exemplifies so much how this is not like a stuffy id in fact i see a lot of times people saying like oh but jackie kennedy she's not really a dramatic classic maybe she would be like something else it's just her style was but i think that's like exactly the point is like a dramatic classic is not supposed to be this like lifeless super boring like gray goo of a person with a bit of angularity i mean i think jackie she was very like chic and she had a really like iconic kind of like persona and personality and freshness so this very like tailored sophisticated high fashion like um high end tasteful fashion was not really restricting her but it was allowing her to shine and i guess that's also like the essence of the dramatic classic we can see that also with joe biden who's you know verified um dramatic classic you know she doesn't look like a boring in this very like i don't know just typical kind of washington like all oh, matching uh, suits kind of thing it's not like oh she looks like a generic person um but the like ease with which she carries this very like ensemble approaches and this kind of like more angular longer lines you can see rather than trying to like really emphasize the waist it just allows for her to really shine as a woman 
Um, I th also think like the, you know, just because you dramatic class, it doesn't mean everything has to be like boring. It can be like interesting. You know, you can add some geometric details. I think the main thing is just that one should keep in mind, as David writes in The Metamorphosis, that as a dramatic classic, as with other more yang-leaning ideas, you don't want to try to soften your look or your features, um, because that's like negating your yang, and that only makes you look, as he writes, fussy, you know, and I think that's very true. So I think the main thing is just that it's not like you have to always wear the sleekest, most plain things, but it's just that whatever you're wearing has to own your specific unique balance of the yin and yang. Yeah, and so I just wanted to show some like examples of like these types of outfits. Again, like I understand if like your lifestyle does not necessarily call for them, <laughs> but if it does, I think that these are really amazing outfits because they keep you kind of this more straighter yang line. And of course, like all yang ideas could really wear these outfits, but I think that they exemplify this very like ensemble approach and the tailored chic. Oh, Queen Letizia, you know, I think I put these outfits here because I think like sometimes we think like plain, like tailored outfits, that's so boring. But here's three outfits where she's just wearing like red and white and very simple lines and there's nothing boring about any of these looks. In fact, because she's like a dramatic classic or I mean, she's not verified, but the way she's wearing these outfits, there's, you know, a little bit of like interest, a little bit of visual playfulness in the sleeves or in her shoes on little buttons and there's some experimentation with like the shapes again of her pant legs her sleeves her neckline so it's not like oh she's so boring i mean there's not nothing that he, just because like the colors are simple and maybe the shapes are simple doesn't mean that there's not a lot of like visual interest and playfulness and just magnetic and powerful energy in these looks um yeah and olivia mann of course is another verified dramatic classic who i think like honestly she's not i wouldn't say she's like an amazing dc style icon because she does a lot of different things but she does have some looks where she's really bringing this kind of ensemble approach and you can just see how when it all comes together and she's emphasizing like this combination of yin and yang she has that she just really shines with this kind of sleek hair and this i don't know she just looks so pretty okay brie larson is not a verified uh, dramatic classic but i remember when i watched captain marvel i just remember thinking like this lady she must be a dc because you can see her body is just like kind of i don't know it's a very very balanced with just a bit of like angular um angularity and elongation so but i'm not like 100 percent you know sold on this but i think she's a dc same with emma watson i know people maybe think she's like a gamine i don't want to start a big discussion i just think that she could be a good dramatic classic celebrity example and finally i have a video about selena gomez where i think she is a dramatic classic but on that video in the comments we've had some fun discussion with people so um maybe you want to check that out if you're interested in this more trendy youthful as they say dramatic classic example so those are my three kind of like dc examples to consider I've also identified Kelly Rutherford, the lady who plays Serena's mom in Gossip Girl. I think she's also a dramatic classic. And she's very, like, it's like, are these Gossip Girl outfits or are these just her everyday outfits? You can't even tell. <laughs> um, I also heard a lot of people say Courtney Cox, uh, Monica from Friends, is a dramatic classic. I, I'm actually not that sure. I haven't taken that close of a look at her, but I think... I included these photos here because I think she is a good like candidate for dramatic classic and if so she's a fun dramatic classic with a bit of a natural touch in her aesthetic you can see that she's not wearing blazers she likes things that are a little bit more relaxed so I wanted to include her here so that's about it for my dramatic classic styling examples and what's notable to me about the dramatic classic is that she has this balanced figure where neither her curves nor her frame are dominant but she has some elongation and some squared shoulders um, she has this cool and polished essence 
and this doesn't mean that this person is like cold or withdrawn but it's just about the yin yang balance and overall she's the tailored chic she has this effortless sophistication and polish of a classic woman she has this striking and creative energy of a dramatic woman and she's just this like amazingly gorgeous magnificent lady who balances the yin and the yang so that's about it for today and of course uh, as i said i've included some like non keep it verified celebrities and my thoughts so i love to hear what you think and your experiences with the dramatic classic image id